Hi DIY friends, hosting parties is one of my absolute favorite things to do and I have some awesome things to share with you today to make your own party extra special on a budget, such as shopping at dollar stores, upcycling items that you already have, thrift flips and DIYs. You're gonna get a great variety of ideas in today's new video. Hi, I'm Shannon from the dailydiywire.com and I also do want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Today we're going to be featuring my oldest daughter's graduation party, but I hope you take these ideas and make them work for your own special occasion, whether it's indoors, out, birthdays, bridal showers, baby showers, birthday parties, you can take these ideas and make them your own. Let's start with the dessert table. It is my absolute favorite thing to create for every party I host. Now I'm not great at baking, but I am great at crafting. So we're gonna make some personalized dessert items, starting with these cookie sleeves and creating a custom sticker for the front. We're gonna break out our Cricut machine. This is the Cricut Explore 3. I will make sure to link all the products that I'm using and supplies down in the description box below to make it easier for you to find if you wanna recreate any of these projects. My gift to you is some pre-designs that I created. They are custom and they will be in my Cricut profile. I will link that down in the description box below too. You basically hit make it. It pops up on your design space, ready to go. This is a print and cut file, which create stickers on Cricut sticker paper. It is so cool. You go ahead, print it out. It's going to auto put the black frames around the design. You'll pull out your Cricut mat. I'm using the green one here. Just put your sticker paper on the mat just like you normally would. I do like to use a brayer with mine and make sure that the sticker paper is on the mat really securely. Load this into your machine, hit play. And what's gonna happen is your machine, a light will turn on. You can see that lit up there. And it's actually going to find those black lines on our design that we printed. And that is going to give it basically an eyeball into where it now needs to cut. The blade will then do its work with the Cricut machine. You'll pull off your uh, sticker paper from your mat and you have instant custom stickers. So easy. Then you just peel your stickers off and we're gonna place those onto the fronts of these uh, cookie envelopes. I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby, which was such a great find. A really good trick when it comes to keeping things on budget. You just put your cookies into the envelope, add a little tape on the back, and we have something that went from ordinary to elevated and beautiful for a party. I placed mine in a row in a basket and then next to it you can see I also have some popcorn pouches I'm going to show you how to make too. For this one, you're gonna open up your Cricut Design Space, put 20 and then 23 or whatever year it is, if you're watching this in a different year, pick your favorite font, move your lines, not just close together, but also up and down vertically close together, weld everything together, duplicate each one of those layers, select, we're gonna do cardstock for this one, put our cardstock on the mat, hit play and let our machine do all of the cutting for us. Every single one of our elements is going to come out looking exactly the same, super duper nice and custom. You go ahead and remove all of the excess pieces of cardstock that you do not want. Pop your numbers off of your mat and we're gonna use them as accents. Now these fold over pouches I found at Hobby Lobby, these were on clearance again, such a great deal, but still a great price. If you can't find these on clearance, I'll also try to find some very similar and I'll link them down in the description box below. Grab some wood clothespins from the dollar store. We have our accent pieces and we're gonna fill our little pouches with some kettle corn to create this really cute custom look for our dessert bar. I love these because they are so quick and easy. You just fold them over and then they have little metal ties that wrap around to the front. We're gonna take our Cricut cut little paper pieces that we cut out, add a clothespin to the top to secure it. And these look so cute, lined up next to each other in a basket. 
It's simple little touches like this that just take a little bit of extra time, but make something very ordinary look elevated and fancy. I wanted to give you an overall view of the dessert bar. I did make the letters and the, or the numbers in the back there too, so I will definitely show you how I did that in this video. So hang tight, that is coming soon. I found these cute letters, they're plastic on Etsy. And then we just added some picks into some cupcakes, added some tiered little trays kind of spread things out but pull it all together with a pretty macrame banner in the front very cute chic but so easy and ex inexpensive as well these numbers are the same design from our popcorn treat bags but this time I cut some out in some brown paper using the Cricut machine and we're going to use them to accent the centerpieces for this party I highly recommend using mason jars for your vases. They are readily available, so inexpensive, and these two quart sizes hold flowers perfectly. You don't need a ton of flowers and you still get a really pretty bouquet in there. So what I did is added some ribbon to the top of the mason jars and then tied the number accents on with some jute there. This is something you could change the shape out and use something else to personalize this to your party. We also added some photos onto some barbecue skewers, tucked those into the flowers into the vase as well, and that is what really personalized this look. So pretty down the tables and also a Another idea here is add a few games or at least to a few of your tables. Those are really great for the kiddos that might be attending your party. Another great centerpiece idea is heading to your local nursery or garden center. They have some potted plants that kind of have a variety of plants in them already. They're going to last you longer than a bouquet of flowers and they make great favors or party prizes at your party and look so great there too. Now let's head back over to the dessert table and I told you I had made those numbers, but I also created some that said grad out of letters. You wanna grab yourself some paper mache numbers or letters from the craft store. I went ahead and spray painted mine, gave them a couple coats. Uh, you of course wanna use whatever color that matches the theme of your party, whatever numbers, whatever letter combination you want to really personalize it and then let them dry pretty good. My husband was so nice. He went ahead and screwed the letters into a piece of wood for me and then I wasn't happy with seeing those screws. So you could spray paint them one or two. I just went ahead and grabbed some artificial flowers and greenery from Walmart and use some hot glue to attach them over those screws. Now here's a little tip too. If you can find these, these are face mask wands. I found this at the dollar store. It's made of silicone, so you can use it to press down your greenery until it dries without burning your fingers pretty much. And then the glue will peel right off of those brushes. You can use it over and over again. So just added some flowers and greenery in there kind of randomly to dress it up and put this over by the drink station at our party, but so cute for a mantle or an entryway or an accent table that you wanna dress up. And then here are those numbers again. I did it exactly the same. He, my husband went ahead, screwed those onto some wood and I dressed it up with some flowers. I love a good thrift store find and this one was one of my top ever finds. It's a Samsonite train case and I only paid, I paid less than $5 for it. Went online, found out it's worth about 150. So a great bargain, hit those thrift stores. But I just wanna make this into a little card holder for the party. So what I did is in Cricut Design Space, created a rectangle the size of the space on the train case that I needed and used that as a guide for writing cards on there and then deleted that rectangle before cutting the vinyl with my Cricut machine. Once it was cut, just weeded out all the excess parts of vinyl I did not want and we're basically making a quick little label for the front of this train case so our guests know, put your cards in here. So you're gonna take some transfer tape Put that over your decal, rub it on there with your squeegee, and then peel your vinyl decal off the paper backing. Out comes the train case, and we are just going to find a good spot, kind of center our decal on the front there. Push it down with your hand first, and then take your squeegee and rub it in so that your vinyl sticks to the train case. Pull off your transfer tape, and what a custom look this is. I love this, it's so easy. Such a fun and pretty way to really elevate something for your party.
This worked out perfectly and I have more to show you on this table, so stay tuned, it's coming up. But since we're talking about labels and vinyl decals, I found these chalkboard signs at the Target Dollar Spot, so really, really affordable. I made some more vinyl decals in white for this and just added them onto those chalkboard signs. And we're gonna add those to the drink station. Again, adding some more of these vinyl decals onto some chalkboard stickers from the dollar store. We're going to add these onto some pictures. Uh, so guests know what is inside those pictures when they go to the drink station. The decals fit right onto the stickers. And then this is a picture I found at Target. Just pulling the stickers right off the paper backing and then applying them onto the picture. They are kind of ribbed and rigid. So it was nice that the stickers kind of conform onto those containers. And here's what this all looks like once it's put together. You can see the nice uh, pictures we have for water. We also have the sweet tea and our lemonade containers and drink dispensers. And also I added some to some chalkboard markers for our charcuterie board. It just all really has a slick, seamless, beautiful look in the end. Now, this is a quick and easy dollar store DIY. Grab these chalkboard stickers. You could even make these with some black vinyl using your Cricut machine, but this one is super quick and easy. You just peel the stickers off, put them on some dollar store mason jars that have the handles, and then you're Guests can label them with a white chalk marker so they know whose is whose. Add some paper straws in there to give it even more style. Line them up and we added this to a pretty drink cart. We had a metal bucket, bucket on the bottom and that kind of held some of the kids' drinks down there too. Now this area I handed over to both my daughters to take care of. They designed this completely by themselves. Loved it so much. They added a scarf a row of balloons on there and some of these bubble hanging orbs with some candles in them from the dollar store. It turned out so pretty. It was so proud of them, but this was sort of a fun backdrop for photos. So here's our family photo that day and a fun little boomerang me and my husband made, but I also wanted to make this a fun sort of photo booth area. So luckily Cricut Design Space already has some designs loaded in there. So I pulled some up that I really liked and it was all ready to go minus they said 2020. So I changed those out to say 2023, changed them to the colors that I wanted, four different colors here. And I love the Cricut Design Space divvies this up for you and puts them in order. So you just kind of click go and it tells you what color you need. You put your uh, construction paper, your card stock, whatever you're using onto your mat and cut each layer and then take some adhesive. I love this tape runner. I'll link that down below for you too. Great adhesive to then add your paper elements together one at a time. So these are going to be all the cute little things that we're going to add on to some dowel rods to create our photo booth elements. I'm using some really inexpensive wooden dowel rods I found from Walmart and then just took some hot glue and added a stick onto each one of those items. I love quick and easy and these definitely were. I set up this little space next to the photo booth area with a basket and some dollar store glasses and then a little vase to hold up the Cricut created props. Now let's talk about this chalkboard sign at the entrance. It is a pretty big sign and just because it's big doesn't mean it's difficult to do. It just means we need to break it down into three separate pieces to make it stretch out and fit this larger space. So as you can see, this is gonna be the bottom piece separate. We're also going to cut this on some white vinyl and we're gonna do this in a middle section and also a top section too, but still only using our 12 by 12 mat to create this larger sign, easy peasy. Once we have it weeded out, I just cut it into those different sections, getting rid of any excess paper that's just going to get in the way. Now we're going to get our chalkboard sign out and I have this awesome Cricut ruler. I'll link it down below. It is awesome for fabrics, but it's also perfect because it is clear. So it works great for projects like this. It's going to help us line up all three of these pieces, even though we're going to put them on separately. So I found 
the area, the height of each one that I wanted for each level, put some masking tape from side to side. So I had straight lines to work with, but they're not permanent because we're going to be able to remove them. So we're going to take our decal off. I also folded it in half to find the center of my decal and then lined up the bottom of the decal with the masking tape and then applied it, not touching the masking tape, applied the decal onto the chalkboard and removed that transfer tape off the top. Once we remove the masking tape, it'll be completely lined up and centered. How cool is that? So just repeated this process, but I went ahead and did the bottom next instead of the middle. Wanted to make sure I got the middle perfectly centered after I got the top and bottom on. Now we're gonna add some masking tape to the center. This is gonna be the bigger part of this decal set. Take it off. I actually cut a, a line down the center so I could put this on in two pieces, but still keep it all together with that piece of transfer tape, if that makes sense. So added Caroline's graduation party at the top, removed the masking tape, and then the little flourish thing underneath went on second, but it all went on pretty much the same time with the transfer tape. And a little tip here is to take a wet wipe and that will erase all of your chalk lines and any dust and dirt that happened along the way. Add a little bit of greenery at the top of this with some wire, taped it onto the back so it would hang off the front. So simple, so pretty, but it looks so custom and high end. Looks expensive, but it wasn't. I also want to show you a couple of the cute favors that we made for this party. These are so popular right now. They are the retro motel keys. Just added a vinyl decal onto the front of those for the little welcome table. I also created these little picks. This is another print and cut design. So put some cute, encouraging Bible verses on those and put them on some barbecue skewers to make some picks. I also have this as one of my free files in Cricut Design space. You can print and cut your own if you want. Just put some skewers on the backs of those, taped them on, and then stuck them in some mini succulents as favors for our guests as well. But you could use these in cupcakes. You could use them in other plants. You could make stickers out of them. Get creative. Use them how they work for you. It's always great to have a little guest book for your party. We did a prayer journal for ours, but you use what works for you. It's nice to have a little message left over after the party. And then just a fun, cute welcome space to drop off cards. Welcome everyone. Also give them favors all at the same time. I also love to upcycle items. So use items that you already have. They may not work for you, but you can paint them or change them to make them work. This was a sign that we had in our old kitchen. We completely gutted our kitchen and remodeled it and no longer had a spot for this sign. So I kept it knowing that I could paint it eventually and use it for something else the time finally came. So we're gonna tape off the edges of this sign and use some white chalk paint to cover up the design. I do love these brushes. They are so good. They're made for chalk paint, great for coverage, getting everything even and not a ton of brush strokes. I will link this down in the description box for, below for you too. And also the chalk paint that I'm using, it only took two coats. I let it bake out in the sun for about an hour before removing the tape and then moving on to the next step, which is making it beautiful and customizing it. So we already did one big sign. This one's even bigger. We're gonna grab our Cricut machine out and also our 12 by 24 mat. We're gonna use regular matte black vinyl for this one to add a customized design to the front of our sign. So I love this. I love that Cricut can do bigger projects like this. Uh, and we are just gonna send this through, let it do its thing. I created a design in Design Space, custom, one of a kind. I love that you can do that too, just using a font and a cute flourish. And then once it was done cutting, I did leave my vinyl paper on the mat. Sometimes it's just easier with bigger projects to leave it on the mat while you're weeding it and then remove your design from the mat. So I went ahead and did that for both pieces of this design. And then we're going to use our transfer tape, just the same we do with all of our vinyl decals, to attach this onto our giant sign. Now, this is a little bit different than actually doing this on the chalkboard because we don't have the chalk to be able to mark where the center is. So I'm gonna be using that clear ruler again. It is so handy and helpful for bigger projects. 
So it helps if you're doing a larger design to kind of layer your vinyl pieces on top of each other. So you can find that center area. You want it centered left to right and also top to bottom. And that ruler helps a lot with that. Then we're gonna add a little bit of our transfer tape to the top and then kind of peel the paper backing off a little bit as you go towards the bottom, if that makes sense. With larger designs, you, that way you don't get a bunch of wrinkles or bubbles in your decals. I also added some greenery and some flowers to the top of this sign with some hot glue. And this was just a nice sign to put out next to the garden with all the games. We wanted to make sure that our guests knew that they were welcome over there to come play some games and lounge in the seating area there as well. This is another design I'll have available in my Cricut Design Space profile. It says, take a walk down memory lane. I think this is great for birthday parties. If you're going to put different photos up of the birthday person, obviously for the grad party, it works great too, or any kind of milestone that you're celebrating. I created this and then just printed it out with my Cricut machine on some matte black vinyl, weeded out all of the excess and put my transfer tape on top like we do for all of our decals. The cool thing about this one is that we're going to be adding it to a thrift store find. So I found this beautiful gold frame a while back at the thrift store, super duper cheap. I've used it for Christmas before and now I'm recycling it to use it for this party. Super easy to just put your vinyl decal on glass like this right on top of your frame and then peel your uh, transfer tape off down the front and you have a beautiful sign that you can use in a photo area. Without showing you too many personal photos, we had this really cool rock formation at the venue. So I just kind of prop this up on some rocks and then my daughter put her photos kind of wrapping around the edge. So it kind of progressed from when she was a baby up until now. Let me tell you, it is pretty incredible the amazing things you can make with paper vinyl and with the help of your Cricut machine. So many amazing things you can do beyond even just parties, but I love combining old things and new things, thrift store things, affordable things from the dollar store. All these things really come together to create a very fancy look, but we are still keeping things very affordable and on budget. I would absolutely love to hear the one item that you love to create for parties. Let me know those down in the comments below. I would love to hear all about it. And if you could, I would appreciate it so much if you'd hit that thumbs up button for me. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today and seeing my daughter's graduation party that was so special to all of us. Thank you again, and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.